नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल प्रशांत जी योग एज पर योर रिक्वेस्ट ऑन बैक पे आई हैव क्रिएटेड टुडे इज वीडियो देर कैन बी मल्टीपल रीजन दैट यू आर हैविंग बैक पे इट कैन बी ड्यू टू स्लिप डिस्क साइटिकल नर्व पे मस्कुलर पे एंड वेरियस रीजन इट कैन बी स्ट्रेस एज वेल सो टूडे इज वीडियो विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन बेसिक आसना विच हैज अ डीप इम्पैक्ट ऑन दीज ऑल इशूज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट lie down on the mat because our sequence of today class will be focused on lying position basically so shavasan position i want you to lie down with separate legs okay so separate legs like this and slowly roll the spine with the support of the hands to the side roll the spine and all the way flat see like that so the lower back is touched to the floor knees are bending you can even bend more a little bit and slowly lie down this way just separate the arms feel the lower back on the ground and just relax for few breaths a deep inhalation and deep exhalation that will be here breathing is here slow and deep why the knees are bending because normally if the legs are straight this way you might have a over urge and especially those who are having back pain while lying in shavasan they can still carry the tension on lower back while they lie down but when the moment you bend the knees you are rested lower back is supported and even the glutes also helps you to keep your lower back grounded so you will not carry any heaviness any stress at that time this is very important the moment you begin your practice for lower back bend now relax for few breath deep inhale deep exhale now straight leg this way but still the legs are separated now just to have a first single stretch that we will be begin with interlock the fingers so the tadasan position and stretch the arms over the head this way and i really want you to have a full length of the spine i don't want you to stretch the leg right now and when you do this you will notice that the chest is lifted right here you can see me if you see that chest is lifted while you stretch your arms like this i want you to press the lower back on the ground see the movement of the spine at that time i'm bending my knee and that's the reason i told you do not stretch your legs two to three times let's start the same action inhale you bend your knee see how i'm bending it can be to the side and it can be even bending if you don't feel comfortable while keeping the legs to the side you it bend out but the main is that you are just rolling the buttocks outward and pressing the spine down and stretch the entire body deep in pain two to three deep inhalation in this position i would request everyone to stay and feel that length the first thing what we are trying to do here we are releasing the stress out by extending and elongating this which creates the space in between the vertebrae especially the lower back as the knees are bent it and the buttocks are rolled so it really gives you the complete relaxation at lower reach and exhalation now because you to relax hands to straight now the second movement i would request everyone to bend the knee like this i still want you to not to use your leg left right now in this very niche and hold your knees this way see and when you hold the knees this way i would request now again this time left leg is completely relaxed right now you start inhalation and start bringing the knee as close as possible to your chest yes. i don't want you to lift your buttocks completely rolled upward no the sacrum will be rested on the ground completely see here this position I don't want you to go this direction up. No. I just want you to still feel the lower back including the sacrum and just simply you're bringing the knees as close as possible and deep inhalation gently. And deep exhalation. Two to three breath inhale deeper. No movement right now. No much strong efforts we need here. we just need a correct position 
and correct breathing rhythm and the statement. Exhale completely. Now the same movement will go to the side. I want you to hold again right knee butt with on the right hand. Left hand will be placed to the side anywhere it can be. It can be to the same line of the shoulder. It can be lower, down. And now this knee will go to the side this way. See here. Exhale. If you can touch the knee on the ground, rest. If not, simply bend the knee and hold nicely. And just with your forearm, see how I'm holding my shin bone. And I'm using my forearm to press my side knee and the thighs. Exhale, stretch nicely. Deep inhale, two to three times again. Exhale completely. I don't want you to roll completely to the right as the body will react when you perform this position. You have to pay attention that the left side of the body is completely working as a foundation. The right is active right now and you are working with the right side of the spine. Tension which is you are holding, carrying the right side, released by this asana, right. Exhalation, this side. Now exhale, come back to center. Now the third movement, the same leg. Right hand will be placed to the side. The left hand will hold the knee. And now, just bringing the right knee over the left leg. No need to press the knee to the ground. No, just gently, I want you to just reach half of the spine. I don't want you to turn the complete. It's not a twisting pose. It's just a simple, gentle twist, just focusing on the lower back, where you will be placing the foot on top of the left here and just bringing the knee to the side. That's it. Now the lower back is involved. Upper back, we are not taking the actions today. Just lower back. Now, gentle press. The moment you feel that now the pressure is reaching to the left side of the spine, you stop here. It means do not press too much down. Just come up, half only, right side of the spine, and just breathe three to four times. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. These are gentle stretch which really has a deep impact on the lower back relaxation. Deep exhale. The left leg is fully passive, do not stretch actively. Simply deep inhale. Deep exhale. Now the same knee will come center. This time I want you to lift your leg half bending. Just bend the knee a little bit more and grab the foot with the left hand, even if possible with the right hand. Maybe for some of you it will not be easy to reach that much higher. You take a belt, take a strap, hold with the strap and then you start taking the knee sideways. But stay, still my lower back is touched, still my sacrum is on the ground. These are, this is a very important movement, Do not, no need to lift too much, just simply taking the knee to the side and holding the foot this way. Exhalation, this. If you feel that the left hand is not reaching that much high, it can be side on the floor. Just using the right hand and start stretching this. Side groins. These muscles, when they are stressed, the muscles which are stretching in these all movements of the line position sequence, all these muscles are responsible to take stress out from the lower back, which is important for everyone to stretch them day to day life. That's why these movements are very important today. I'm not giving you so much active movements. Lying position, everyone can do. Just you have to pay attention that when you stay in pose, deep breathing and deep exhalation and inhalation should be done regularly. Exhale. Release. Let's try the same sequence on the left side. Lifting the knee, interlock. Now, exhale, slowly press the knee without lifting the buttons. And breathe three to five times. Deep inhale, consciously. And exhale. Inhale deeper. Exhale complete. Let's try the second movement where the right hand will be placed to the side. The left hand will hold the shin bone and the forearm will be pressing the thigh. Deep breath in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathe out. 
Breathe in, deeper, slower, consciously. Breathe out. The next movement was bringing the knee center, left hand to the left side, holding the right, left knee with the right hand, and then pressing, simply placing the foot, top of the right, and just no need to push too much, as I said before, also simply. Just feel the left side of the lower back, helping you release the stress and tension out with every exhalation. Every exhalation. Now center again. Release the right hand down, holding the foot. It can be from inside, it can be from outside. See which one is comfortable. And then exhalation, bringing the knee to the side and down. And see here, I'm not lifting the buttocks towards the left. I'm just pressing the right side of the buttock down here so that I have a nice and passive stretch to my left side of the joints here, in this region. These muscles are, as I said, very responsible for your lower back to be relaxed if you stretch them regularly. Now, exhale. Again, the single stretch which we did from the beginning of the class, bending the knees. Now, you will come into Makarasana position. Legs will be sideways here. But in this Makarasana position, one very important action after previous all the sequence done, you will take left hand will be center, right hand will go to the side, left hand will go to the side. So diagonal stretch. And here you will stay in this soft Makarasana position, resting the elbow, forehead down and just stretching the left side of the leg, left side, right side of the hands, right side. And just breathe here, deep. Two to three times. Deep inhalation and deep exhalation. Now the same with other side. Center, right. And now stretch the right leg, right side. And then stretch nice. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then three to five deep inhalation. Now you are coming up to the table position from child pose. Arms shoulder width apart. Take few movement in cat and cow, marjariyas. Now you're working with gentle massage with the lower back. So where? Pressing the palm here, inhalation. You first urge the back by looking up. And deeply stretch the upper back, not the lower back. You're not pushing the lower back down. You're focusing on upper back by rolling the shoulders backward and then stretching this way. Exhale, first lower back will go down. And then you will go with the head. Now with inhalation, first lower back will go up, then you are lifting the head with inhalation. Your toes can be tucked in, even the flat, both options are okay. Whatever you are feel comfortable with, you take the movement, exhale, first lower back and then all the way down. For three to five movements, you will do this with inhalation, with exhalation. And then slowly knees separate, toes together, and rest in balance. Head down. From balasan, you will come to makarasan, that is a vast relaxation pose, and you will breathe here. Slowly go front. Again, lying on the belly. Spread the legs, toes pointing to the side, resting the elbow on the ground. And then the last position that is lifting, placing the chin on between the wrist by placing the wrist together and chin will be resting here. The fingers are covering the face. Makaras. 
If you feel that the lower back is in tension, the second variation of Makarasana is bringing the elbows on the ground, holding the elbows and forehead down like this. And then after Makarasana, after 10 breath, you will just lie down like this, to the side, placing the hands or interlock, bending the knees, left side if you relax, right leg will remain straight and just resting in this position and then changing the side, other side. That was a short sequence to release the tension from the lower back. I gave you the position in line and even in prone position because these are the two positions where spine doesn't carry too much pressure and the weight. So such sequence regularly for one week to ten days if you will repeat the same way as we discussed now and more spending time the deep breath by caring the entire body you will notice that the results are faster so try this and see how you feel right when coming i will again see you in the next video until then namaste